Hello and welcome to another Starlink accessory review video. I'm in the back of my car today because we're going to be taking a look at an accessory for the Starlink Mini called the Mini Car Adapter. This is an official accessory from Starlink that allows you to power Starlink Mini directly from a 12 volt car outlet, commonly known as a cigarette lighter outlet. And that's great because Starlink Mini is designed for, you know, mainly portable travel use and what better power source than the vehicle that you might be traveling in. The Mini car adapter is $45. You can find it in the online Starlink shop or in the Starlink app. Let's do an unboxing. Let's see what this kit includes because we got a lot to talk about and a lot to go over. Let's just jump right into it. So unboxing, very simple. You really just have two things here. You have the Kind of the star of the show here the 12 volt car adapter car power adapter so this plugs into a 12 volt cigarette lighter outlet 12 to 24 volts is what starlink says that this can accept and then on the other end you have a usb-c port which is kind of interesting and then you have an led indicator light which is nice it tells you whether it's receiving power or and also delivering power to the mini when it's plugged in that's the adapter part the kit also includes this cable. This is a Starlink Mini specific cable. It's got USB-C on one end that is designed to plug into your car adapter. And then it's got the Mini's DC5521 plug on the other end. It is five meters long. It's about 16 feet. And Starlink importantly notes that this cable and this adapter is only designed to work with the Starlink Mini. It's not designed to power or charge other accessories like your cell phone, portable power bank, etc. Last thing in the box worth noting is the little instruction sheet is now printed on the lid of the box, which is kind of nice. So it's just giving you a little bit of information on how you hook this up. It's quite simple, obviously, but they tell you anyway. Uh, we do have a voltage input range of 12 to 24 volts, and it says it can use up to 6.3 amps. If you do the math at 12 volts, that's around 75 watts or so. Now I'll say right off the bat, I'm really glad they decided to do a separate design with the adapter separate from the actual cable. And that's because this makes this mini car adapter kind of a multi-purpose uh, accessory, if you will. So before this came out, I actually found this on Amazon. This is a kind of the same thing. So you have a 12 volt car adapter on one end and then you have the mini's power plug on the other end. Same length of cable and everything. This is from a third party, like I said, before the official accessory came out. And this is this worked great, uh, but all it could really do is power the Mini. So with the Starlink accessory, you get kind of a neat 12 volt adapter that has a USB-C plug. And although Starlink says that you can't charge other devices, I'm gonna be demonstrating that you actually can. This is just USB power delivery, USB-C PD. Um, so you can power, actually power other devices. Uh, I was using this with my in the previous video, testing out the T-Mobile Away system. This is actually how I powered it from the car via its USB-C cable. Also, if you're wondering, if you're looking in the Starlink shop and you no longer see that Starlink Mini USB-C cable, it's because they no longer sell it individually. So before this car adapter came out, they used to just have this listed in the shop. This is just the uh, mini USB-C cable that allowed you to power the mini off of a USB power source. Well, when they came out with the car adapter, they decided it was kind of redundant having two uh, sort of similar accessories. So that what they did was they just bundled them together and now they're sold under just this product right here, which is the mini car adapter. So if, if you're not seeing that USB-C cable for the mini in the shop, that's why it's now bundled with this car adapter for this kit right here. And what that allows you to do is, you know, you can pick and choose how you're going to power your mini. If you are, have a cigarette lighter that you want to use, like in your vehicle, your RV or your van or a portable power station, you could hook up the cable with this little adapter. If instead you want to power it right off a of USB-C, you can skip the adapter and then just use the included Starlink mini USB-C cable. So like I said, really kind of multi-purpose, uh, multi-power source accessory, which is really nice compared to some of the other third-party options which are literally just a 12 volt outlet to mini cord. All right, so that's kind of the product overview. Uh, let's get into some testing and kind of checking some more things out in detail. Let me grab the camera and we'll get a closer look. All right, I've got my Starlink Mini here. 
And as you can see, I just wanted to kind of give you a comparison. This is the included power cord with the Starlink Mini. This is the AC wall adapter. And then you have the 50 foot cable with that DC 5521. So if you're gonna be using this mini car adapter, you don't need this anymore. You don't need the cable either. You can set that aside. All that we need is the USB-C cable that comes in that car adapter kit and the adapter itself. Insulation, pretty self-explanatory. You could use it in this uh, cigarette lighter adapter like I have in the car here and just plug it in. One side has the USB-C that goes there and then the other side obviously goes into the bottom of the mini. Using this cable does maintain the IP67 um, water resistance and kind of dust proof rating of the Starlink Mini. And then on this side, you have connection to the car adapter. So kind of like that. You can also, and what we're going to be doing with today's test, you can also plug it into something like this, which is a portable power station that also has the same kind of 12 volt car outlet. And we're gonna be doing this because I'm gonna be testing the power savings that we can achieve by using the USB-C power method versus the AC power method with an inverter. So that's kind of a neat comparison to make. So let's get that set up and check it out. Got the mini kind of set up in my driveway for this testing. And I wanted to kind of point out something interesting with this Starlink USB-C cable. It has a, an LED indicator light on the USB-C side of the cable. And that gives you some important information. So right now I have it plugged into the USB-C port of my EcoFlow River 3. And I did that because I knew that this USB-C port was only rated at about 65 watts. This cable, if you're gonna be using it in just USB-C mode, requires at least 100 watts. So you need the 20 volt, five amp USB-C power delivery mode. And if you see this red LED on the Starlink mini cable that means that this power supply is not compatible with the starlink mini so now i have the 12 volt outlet in use here on the ecoflow and you notice there's an led indicator on the adapter side of it that lights up white to let you know that the usb-c connection is active it's powered on it's providing power to the starlink mini you can also see that here with the uh, wattage output measurement right there using around 30 to 40 watts and there's no LED indication on the cable part, and that's what you want. When it's off, that means everything's working properly. You don't want the red though. So I've noticed with the DC connection here, Starlink Mini uses around 30 to 39 watts. It's been sitting here at 39 watts for a little bit now, and that seems to be kind of the average uh, power consumption, I would say. It kind of bounces around depending on what it's doing. You know, idling, it might get down to lo as low as like 15 watts and then it will jump back up to like 30 and then up to 39. So kind of hard to get an average, but let's try it on the AC, the included AC wall adapter and see if that actually uses more power. It's been sitting here on the AC power adapter for a while and you know, I'm not really noticing much of a difference. It's doing the same behavior, bouncing from between 20 watts to 40 watts, just depending on what the Starlink Mini is doing. And you know, it's kind of expected, although you're gonna have some inverter losses just because that's how inverters work. You know, it's generally pretty small anyway, you know, anywhere from like 5% to like 10% if you have a pretty inefficient inverter. But you gotta keep in mind the Starlink Mini doesn't use very much power to begin with. And so the differences between your inverter losses is gonna be kind of minuscule there, maybe a couple watts to a few watts or something like that. I think really you go for this car adapter or USB-C, just for the simplicity and not having to use this or have an inverter on. Um, it's not really for the power savings. The mini is just, since it can natively accept DC power, you know, why not just use USB-C or the car adapter? It just makes sense with the mini. We're not seeing the same kind of power savings that you would see with like the Gen 3 standard dish, done testing videos on that. And the savings is much more significant on the, the standard versus the mini. So. Again, not really concerned about the power savings that you might get by running this car adapter. You're mainly just concerned about getting access to running the Mini directly off of a 12 volt outlet or a USB-C power source. So you remember how I said that Starlink did not want you using their adapter to power other devices. 
Well, it turns out the cable is the only issue. You can't use the cable for other devices, but you can use this 12 volt adapter, which makes this accessory a pretty good value in my opinion. Let me show you what I got going on here. So I've got the mini car adapter hooked up to my 12 volt outlet in my car. It's powered on. You can see the LED status indicator. And I've got it hooked up now to this little Jackery, tiny little mini power bank, solar generator is what they call it. And I don't know if you can see let me move this cable. I am simultaneously charging from the vehicle and outputting to the Starlink Mini. And I wanted to show you this because number one, to tell you that you could use this little 12 volt adapter if you needed to, to charge any of your USB-C devices or whatever up to about 60 watts. The other reason that I wanted to show you this is because I've got a great tip for you if you're gonna be using this in a vehicle like I do. So a lot of vehicles, when you turn the vehicle off, the 12 volt accessory outlets turn off as well. And that's not very good for using the Starlink Mini in motion. Like for example, if you have it mounted on top of your roof or under a sunroof or something like that, because every time you turn the car off, maybe you park to go to the bathroom or go to an overlook spot or something like that to check out a view, your Starlink Mini is gonna turn off. And that takes a few minutes, three to five minutes to boot back up every time you get back in the vehicle. If you want to avoid that, what you can do is get something like this Jackery, tiny little mini, I'll put a link in the description below, by the way, to this thing. I'm getting ready to do a review on it for the Starlink Mini, actually. But anyway, you can use something like this that supports pass-through charging. And as you can see, I am inputting 30, 40 watts, and then outputting whatever the Mini is wanting. So pretty cool right there. What happens if I take this out just to like simulate the car turning off, I don't lose power to the Starlink Mini. And this can sit here and power the Starlink Mini for up to about three hours or so. So final thoughts on the Starlink Mini car adapter. So first of all, the Starlink Mini, by the way, is just awesome. I love this dish. It's so versatile, useful for in you know so many different applications. And they're coming out with some really cool accessories for it, including, I think, the Starlink Mini car adapter. In my opinion, this is a must have if you're a Starlink Mini owner, not only because it gives you the ability to easily power this from a vehicle or from any other 12 volt outlet, like on a portable power station or a boat, but it also gives you this mini USB-C cable that allows you to do so much more, powering it directly off of a portable power bank like I just showed you with the Jackery. And you know, it's just at $45, it's kind of a lot to spend on a cable and a 12 volt adapter, but this is so much more higher quality than some of the Amazon ones that I've tried out. And you get the multi-functionality of having this USB-C outlet and the car adapter that allows you to also charge devices if you're not using it to power the Starlink Mini. So overall, pretty impressed with this accessory as I am most Starlink accessories. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you gonna pick this up or did you find a better one on Amazon or something? Let me know, love to chat about it. As always, really appreciate you watching and liking the videos. Let me know if you'd like to see a review of that Jackery uh, little mini solar generator. Um, I did have a, a solar panel that actually comes with it. So I was thinking about doing a video with the mini on extending power bank life or runtime with a solar, a little portable solar panel. So if you're interested in that, make sure to like this video, leave me a comment below telling me what you'd like to see in that video. Again, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.